This is your NBL Canada recap on a chilly Tuesday night from the Meridian Center as the Niagara River Lions host the Windsor Express. Maurice Bolden was the hot hand for the Express early as he hit not one, not two, but three three three-pointers in the first two and a half minutes of play. More from him in a moment. Adam Blazett got on the board early for Niagara as he hit on this drive and then nails a corner jumper. Remember I told you we'd be hearing more from Moore Bolden? Well, check out this baseline move. He literally drives through his defender and scores despite the contact. Logan Stutz continues to put up impressive numbers. He scores on this tough drive to the hoop. Then Sammy Zaglinski finds his way to the basket courtesy of a solid Daquan Cook screen. Brandon Robinson continues to be a positive addition to the club as he scores off his inbounds play. We jump to the third quarter where the River Lions push the ball up to Marcus Lewis who gets the hoop and the harm. Mr. Lewis is far from done as he shows off his handles and blows by his defender for two. And then he delivers the highlights of the night. Lions trailing, Blazik finds Lewis in the corner and he ties the game with this three. Off the Windsor miss, the former NC2A slam dunk champ would cap off a stellar fourth quarter with his two and give the River Lions a one point lead. He had 20 on the night. Veteran point guard Tony Bennett calls his own number and gives his club the one point edge. With under a minute to play, Sammy Z heads down the floor and finds Logan Stutz in the paint, who makes a great shovel pass to Russ Conley, who drops in the basket, and the Lions would hold on for the one point victory. 92 91 is your final. The River Lions would hold serve on home court and put an end to the Express three game win streak with a great all around. We seem, we seem to play a little lackadaisical at times. You know, we didn't take good care of the basketball. We didn't close out on the shooters. Second half, we made some good adjustments. We were closing out on the shooters, cut our turnovers down. You know, so that was all real positive from our standpoint. So, you know, it's the type of thing as a team. We're not playing well, but we're in every game, and that's a good sign. And that's a good sign because when we do start playing well, yeah. then it's going to be uh, it'll be it'll be an interesting show. I mean, I think it's just a, I think it's just us being a young team. You know, a lot of other teams in the league they got three or four guys that have been on that team every year, and we're just still trying to get to know each other. You know, it's still early in the season. I feel like you know once we work those kinks out early, then we'll be good. So I just feel like it's just us not being in sync as a team just yet. When we first signed him, I mean, we knew he was very athletic, and what, what he's starting to show now is he's starting to show that he's he's more than just the slam dunk champion. He does have a complete game. I mean, he's extremely quick. Extremely quick. He takes the ball to the basket really well. It was just getting in the flow of the game because, you know, for some of the guys, it's hard coming off the bench and everything. But, you know, we all adjust and we're used to it by now because it's the fourth game of the season. So it's just about stepping up and then it's about those guys did a great job finding me in the fourth. I was spotting up. So.